My campaign against drugs will not stop until the end of my term. That will be six years from now. Until the last pusher and the last drug lord are... <laughs> Ang palasyo sa naging ulat ng CNN International na nagsasabing political prosecution ang pagkakaresto kay Sen. Laila Delima. Ayon kay Presidential Spokesperson Ernesto Abella, inaresto ang senadora dahil sa pagkakasangkot nito at pagtanggap ng drug money mula sa mga drug lord na nakakulong sa New Bilibid Prison. Anya, ang lokal na korte ang nagutos na arestohin si Delima at walang kinalaman dito ang Malacanang. Nakitaan din ng korte ng sapat na ebidensya ang reklamo laban sa mamabatas kaya't agad nitong ipinagutos ang pag-aresto sa kanya. Hit pa ni Abelia, walang basihan ang report ng CNN na political in nature ang pagpapakulong kay Dilima dahil taliwas naman ito sa mga ebidensyang nagpapaloob sa kaso. At yan yourself uh, is there anything that Duterte has done and said uh, that is illegal I mean first of all let's talk about this this uh, admission, well, the admission. That he made. yes correct well there you have it that's what I've been saying all along that's what I've been uh, uh, that's what I know all along and that's what mr. Cesar Matobato the self-confessed hitman of the so-called devout death squad told us in the course of that Senate Probe so what are the that, consequences of such an admission? I mean, if he's a president of the Philippines, but you have a leader here saying, listen, I took the law into my own hands as a mayor, and I killed, I was on a motorcycle, and I killed suspects. There was no due process. So what does the law say about uh, a leader of a country doing that in the Philippines? I should say that that is an impeachable offense. That is a culpable violation of the Constitution. That is betrayal of public trust, and that constitute high crimes, because these are mass murders, mass murder certain fall under the category of high crimes. High crimes is for impeachment constitution. High profile arrest for President Rodrigo Duterte's highest profile political opponent. Senator Leila de Lima remains in police custody on drug trafficking charges from her time as Justice Secretary. If found guilty, she faces a potential life sentence. She has been a vocal thorn in the president's side. Investigating Duterte's involvement in alleged death squads in Davao City when he was mayor and initiating the inquiry into the national war on drugs which began when Duterte became president. But his supporters say he has done more to end the drugs crisis than any other leader and they approve. His trust rating sits at 83%. Since the war on drugs began in July last year, more than 7,000 people have died, including 2,555 in police operations. But last month, the president pulled police off that job because he said the force was rotten to the core. Reports suggest he's now considering putting them back to work because there's been a rise in drug sales. And that goes against his promise to the Filipino people. But what price is Filipino society willing to pay to clean up the streets? Natalie Pohonen, The Newsmakers. Is her arrest fair? Fair. Def def definitely it's fair because it went through our court system, our judicial system here, which, of which Senator De Lima herself was Secretary of Justice just a few years back. These are the same processes, the same people, the same judges in the courts that when she was Secretary of Justice, uh, Senator De Lima used to prosecute people that the government felt were guilty of certain crimes. She had no problems with them then, she had no problems with the system then, but 
Now she appears unwilling to subject herself to the same rules, the same procedures, the same judges that she was more than willing to embrace when she was the Secretary of Justice. So it's fair, totally fair. It's okay. no secret that there's acrimony between the two parties. That, that is widely covered in the press. But to say that this is the reason why she has been brought to the bar of justice is a totally different thing. She is not being accused of a crime that is related to being against the president or being an enemy of the president, but she is being brought to justice for crimes allegedly committed while she was Secretary of Justice. And these crimes basically include cuddling drug dealers and the national penitentiary and receiving bribes from them. It went through the process. The prosecutors, the, the prosecutor's office found that there was enough evidence to bring it to the judge, and the judge found that there's enough evidence to issue a warrant for her. None of the accusations against her is about politics. So I don't know, I mean, if we exempt everybody who's a political enemy of anybody in power, then w would that free these people then to commit any crime? Because if, if you bring them to justice, then they would say that this was politically motivated. She did the same thing when she was Secretary of Justice. Okay. She brought charges against people that were the perceived enemies of the administration she was serving. And, but, you know, those cases prospered on their own merits. Some okay, were so dismissed, sure. some are still going on, and some probably will result in convictions. So let me... You Critics of the president right now. There's the vice president who disagrees with him on certain policies. Many senators disagree with him on certain policies. But she's the only one who got herself involved in drugs, protecting drug lords and taking bribe money. At least that's what the allegations are. Now, she has all the chance in the world to defend herself. You know, we have a high bar. You know, we, our justice system here demands that guilt be proven beyond reasonable doubt. And we are far from that. What has been brought are charges and in the court, and this is a chance for her to, to prove you know, that these charges are not true. Actually, it's, part, it's the government's job to prove that she's guilty beyond reasonable doubt, and she has to defend herself. And the other tweet I have that, that she said, arrest me, that is something that she did say. She said, arrest me now. She, was, she dared the president to arrest me now, and at the point that when I made the tweet, she had been arrested. So done is an appropriate word. It, sure, but she's saying, she's saying, arrest me. She's saying, arrest me if you disagree with me because I'm fighting against you politically. She said, it is my honor to be imprisoned for the things I'm fighting for. That's what she means. She means, make me a political prisoner. She doesn't mean, hey, I'm guilty of drug trafficking. Does she? I don't know what she means, but what I meant was that she had dared the president or the establishment to, start to jail her now, and the justice system have moved far enough that an, a warrant was, had been issued for her arrest. So it's done. That's what I meant. Vatican officials denied that the arrest of Senator de Lima is a case of political persecution. The palace has also called on the Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines to believe that justice will be served in the case of the lady senator. A palace official made the remark in response to the statement of CBCP President Archbishop Socrates Villegas on de Lima's arrest. Kim Felishano has more. <laughs> Following Senator Lila de Lima's arrest due to violating the Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002, Presidential Spokesperson Ernesto Abaya reassured the Senator of her safety and security while detained inside the Philippine National Police Facility. Abaya said this in response to the earlier statement of de Lima, worrying about the possibility of ending up with the same fate of the late Albuera Leyte Mayor Rolando Espinosa and Korean businessman Ji It Ju. As for the statement of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines on providing the Lima due process and fair treatment, Abella reassured CBCP that the senator will not be deprived of her rights as an individual. Abella also pointed out that the Muntinlupa Regional Trial Court saw a probable cause on the Lima's case and her arrest is definitely not a part of a political vendetta. Meanwhile, Chief Presidential Legal Counsel Secretary Salvador Pinello expressed his opposition with Senator Lila de Lima's claim on being the first political prisoner under the Duterte administration. Pinello said that de Lima is no political prisoner, but an individual facing criminal charges. 
He also added that the Lima was given ample time to practice her rights and defend herself when she was faced with the criminal charges, but failed to submit a counter affidavit. Presidential Executive Secretary Salvador Medialdeo, on the other hand, refuted the claims that Senator De Lima's arrest was a form of a political persecution. I know it's a criminal case filed against her. It's not a political case that which was filed against her. You know. For PTV News. Italiano Aguirre says he has inhibited himself from all cases in the Justice Department involving Senator Laila De Lima. In a statement, Aguirre also says some of the cases against De Lima involved illegal drugs and they're not politically motivated and thus he claims it is wrong for the senator to call herself a political prisoner.